Breaking news. Jim Gilmore's at three votes. I'm kidding. It's not <laughs> <actually> <laughs> uh, No, seriously. Martin O'Malley to suspend his presidential campaign. Finally. Washington, Lord. We have the first casualty of the Iowa caucuses. Down goes O'Malley. Down goes O'Malley. Which means that those four new debates that they just agreed to over the next four months, God knows if we'll get all of them, but we have one later this week, is now going to be a two-person affair. Here Thank we God. go. Now, uh, finally down to it. Mono, mono. Yeah. They don't have to give him the 10 seconds now. But what are we going to do about the lack of story time? Like, I need <laughs> anecdotes to keep me interested in the debate. And so without the I anecdotes, what are we going to do? I this woman from Iowa who told me I got no votes. So I suspended my <laughs> yeah. campaign. Um, right, right, no as matter. we speak, he is re he's unrolling his sleeves again. <laughs> uh, you know, the crazy thing on. is this guy who had no support, 5%, obviously, barely made the threshold. Apparently, he did make the threshold in a couple of counties. Yeah. Because he has, Probably he's at 0.6%, something like that, 0.5%. He's gone down. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> when you were at 0.6 and you've gone down. Um, like, but his endorsement will matter. It will be a covered, but it'll in fact be the his most covered moment whenever he decides to endorse a candidate. And if he waits too long, if he waits to endorse a candidate deep into March, then it stops being a story. If he endorses a candidate before New Hampshire or immediately after New Hampshire, he gets action on it. So he should do it quickly if he means to make a difference. You know, I hear you on that, but I, I think that it'll, I hope I'm not being biased here. I think if he endorses Hillary Clinton, uh, it's not as big a story. It's not that interesting. Yeah. She has all the endorsements. It would be what you would expect. Although he has been more to Bernie Sanders side on the policy issues throughout the debates. <laughs> If he endorses Bernie Sanders, then it's a bigger story. Definitely, yeah. no question. By the way, it's so 79 percent. Uh, you've lost ground. Uh, uh, the, the, it's 1.4 at 79. Don't uh. give us your naysaying. Which, by the way, really <laughs> there fast, goes Bernie. <laughs> he's at 0.6 percent of what I see. Maybe it's 0.5. Uh, if my belief about her tricky pizicky app maneuvering with giving some of her people over in the limited tiny places where he has apparently gotten to 15 percent. That 0.6%, were that to go to Bernie Sanders, and we know that the majority of it would, that significantly well, cuts into her lead. I think the majority of it would. I know we're talking about the I've majority I've seen multiple of, polls that show uh, about two to one. I got it, but it's such as inevitably you can't find a sample, you can't sample it well enough. Michael <laughs> sure said he spoke to people in Iowa. <laughs>